Hello guys, my name is Martin, welcome back to Pool of Radiance. I have been uh, resting up, as you can see, our hit points are totaling up at our full maximum. And um, I went and sold, sold some of our uh, uh, weapons, swords and whatnot, and then I noticed that the sales price was suspiciously high on a number of our um, ill-gotten gains here. Let's see, do you have any? No. That's all fine. But as a moto, when I tried to sell, say, the chain mail, actually that's fine, sell that for 12 gold. The broadsword, hurry, 1000 gold for a broadsword. I don't think so. It's got to be magic. So let's go and ID that. It's going to cost us 200. Not enough money. Okay, let's just uh, pool the money then. And try that again. Yes, please. A broadsword plus one. Is a broadsword usable along with a um, shield, I wonder? Or is it a two handed weapon? Also, um, how much does it cost actually to identify chainmail? It'll cost 200. Is it worth more after I identify it? It was worth 1000 before. It's still worth 1000. Okay. Now, I, I suspect that this is a uh, chainmail plus one, which makes it better than my splint mail. Um, only in, in that it will weigh less. It will give us the same armor class. But I'm willing to pay 200 ID, uh, 200 to ID it just to have the plus one stated in the title. So that is a deal, yes. You can't tell me anything more. Son of a bitch. I didn't check the sales price. Okay. That was stupid. We have a broadsword. Let's, uh, let's wait on deciding who gets what. New items. We should try and sell it first. 750. Definitely magic. So, ID. Yes. It's a plus one. Better than a splint mail. So, splint mail gets unequipped and sold. And this one gets equipped. That one and that one, both worth a thousand. Actually, at most I'd want one broadsword, I think. Let's just wait on identifying those two. Because we might as well just sell them. Actually, I'll go ahead and sell one of them right away. Cause at most I'd want one more than the one I've already had. Joby, do you have anything interesting? And can you use a broadsword? I don't think you can, but we can try. Let's see what that braces is um, worth. 6,000 gold. That's the most expensive thing that we have ever found. I'm going to ID that, and it's probably going to be for one of our magic uses. It's definitely a deal, yes. Braces AC6. So that's going to bring you down to AC6, and after that you're... Uh, dexterity bonus is going to kick in. So we can give it to the thief who's more likely to be in combat. The thing is, he can already use leather armor, which brings him down to 8. So the bonus to him is only 2 points of AC, whereas the bonus to the mages is going to be uh, 4 points of AC. So why don't we go ahead and trade this lovely bracer to Udo who has four hit points and is actually um, a potential for melee fighting not as a primary choice obviously but if the shit hits the fan as indeed it tends to do oops uh, view items equip that brought you down to 6 AC. Now, Arkin could actually go down to 5 AC because he has the bonus, but he only has 2 
hit points. So I'm not liking that too much. Okay, let's see if we can uh, use a broadsword, Joby. You don't have a broadsword actually. Uh, as a moto, you have one. So trade that to Joby. I suspect he can't use it, but we'll try. I uh, should probably unequip the short sword first. You can use a bolt sword. Excellent. Um, what's the difference in damage? I wonder. That is going to be 1d6. This has got to be more. Two D four, so that's two and a half. That's five plus one in average. Whereas the one D six is three and a three and a half. So it's definitely better. Better spread as well. So it's more likely to be uh, nearer the average. Uh, let's see here. You should actually sell your short sword then. That's fine. So you have a leather armor and a bronze sword, you can't wear a shield. And then we're gonna give... I want to go back there, yes please. We want to give this bronze sword... This bronze sword. It's gonna be ID'd, yes. And uh, it's going to be given to Blartic. Because Falcoff can't use it. He's got his flail. And Asimoto's got a two handed weapon. And he's happy about that. Battleaxe gets sold. Broadsword gets equipped. Let's see. Let's see. I didn't actually check what the. Um, what the uh, battle axe does, but I think it's 1d8 straight up. So 1d8 is four and a half in average, and this is five in average. So it's better. Also, it's magic. So some things can't be hit by unmagical weapons, and it's also lighter. All right. Pool all the money and share it out equally. I think that's everything. I also identified that clerical scroll. It actually has two healing spells. So that's going to be very useful once we run out of healing, which we are more than likely to do. And we have our jewelry, which we're going to hang on to for dear life. Good stuff. Let's leave. back out there. In the distance an alarm sound it said. Well, they know we're here I guess. Let's see if we can uh, find our way back to where we were. Seems like there was a bunch of stuff there. We didn't actually try that door I think. We haven't been here before. Wander into the old hemp market. Monsters scurry at your approach. Uh, you occasionally catch snatches of conversation. The gang is operating from the catapons by the well. Okay. This is a whole new area, isn't it? Let's get back there. Yeah, we want to clear the slums before we go to a whole new area. For sure. What is down here? Bash. Oop, that was quick. Guards run to intercept you. Okay. That seems like... Um, okay. Holy... 
Oh, holy. That's a lot of orcs. We only have the two sleep spells. Now I wish I'd saved the game. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we just get cracking. The good thing is only four of them can intercept us at any one time. Um, if we can kill the leaders in the back, then they have no ranged. Hmm. That's a good start. So you can do nothing. It's like that movie 300, right? Their numbers count for nothing. And if our front line was a little bit stronger, I'd be a lot more confident about that sentence. We are only level <coughs> one. Uh, only one hit points. But that's okay. That's a miss. But we do need to throw a sleep spell up there and get those archers out of commission. Uh, without further ado. Actually, we're out of range. So I guess we throw it right here. We can potentially get eight. Seven. Seven orcs sleeping. That's no joke. I'm gonna go ahead and kill those eight first before we move on. Six damage on Asamoto, that's not fun at all. Might want to throw a healing his way. Hmm. Those two are sleeping, so let's target that guy. And it's a miss. Guess Jovi's gonna have to move up here. Get credit. Roll sword plus one. Ow! Hit me with his bow, bastard. to throw my sleep spell uh, and this is gonna it's gonna be too late I worry so these two are sleeping I can't pop it in there is it stupid though I mean there's just so many of them no I'm just gonna have to chance it no no, I can't abort the spell. I've already thrown it. It's just going to fizzle if I abort it now. So... Yeah. I can get seven people here. Okay. Udo going down, however, was not good. We're gonna need to heal as a moto in this round. Those archers, they're just killing me. I don't like them. Yeah, Asamoto has five hit points. He can he can manage. Here come the archers. Go ahead and heal. 
yeah I can't heal anyone who's not immediately uh, next to the healer which is fine one heal as a moto <coughs> fully healed wonderful it's a good one and you can aim manually can you throw your dart all the way up there no actually you can't throw very far at all go ahead and target that <coughs> please I do not appreciate that. actually how about the um, how about the sling would that be able to reach it would what's your hit point eight okay I guess we're that's half not bad and that's a kill. Aim uh, actually except move up there just to get a little bit closer. You are helpless. We'll have a bunch of helpless people here. Let's <coughs> keep taking them down until they don't suddenly wake up. <coughs> yeah. Eight hit points. <coughs> no. Yes. <coughs> One hit point remaining. Party going down was not part of the plan at all. Two hit points remaining and block. Yes, only one that has a motor has very few now. Yeah, this is not gonna work. We're gonna get it. Uh, aim manual four. Should I heal him? I think probably I should, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Uh, can you still use your sling while you are in melee? Gonna need to change your weapon. Let's see here, ready and ready, and exit and move and swing. And kill. Shouldn't have killed that guy though, because now he can hit my mage. Partially healed, unfortunately. Uh, he moved, which makes me feel like maybe he has no more armor. Good swing. Down he goes. Okay, let's start bandaging. Can we do that from here, though? Yeah. So let's blast it. We have two more people down who needs to be healed. And we only have two frontline fighters. Not looking great. They don't have any more ammo. That's all that's going for us at the moment. The teammates dying. Missed. Bandage. Joby. Oh, they're going to need to do a lot of missing. We're going to get out of this alive. Uh, okay, no more people to bandage at least. Anyone hurt here? No. Let's get... Mm, let's get you. Good swing. Miss. Only 
four people who can attack us at any one point. That's all we got going for us. Let's see if we can get the leader down. I shouldn't actually swing at him, I should shoot at him. He, he only has two hit points remaining. I am right, yeah, no one is, uh, remains to be bandaged. You are unconscious, yes, good. Uh, so why don't you move back one step? No. the beeps except now yes no oh, only two hit points as a motor with your two-handed sword you really ought to be doing more damage than two hit points mm hmm do you have more a less AC six and five yeah you are easier to hit but you have three hit points I prefer to try and take my chances with the leader. The darts don't do a lot of damage. Um, but I think if we get the leaders there's a chance they may start to run away. Kill them. God damn it. We do have a scroll, two healings, but I think we should wait until Asimoto gets hurt at least one more time. He should still be at like six hit points. Alright? Eight hit points, not a problem. Unless we don't hit ever again, in which case it will be a problem. Come on. Get these guys. Thank you. One leader down. One more leader to go. Not that they will surrender and run away, just the leaders down, but it might help. Excellent. That's two. Oh, not, not two leaders, but two kills in one round. Oh, Azamoto, he's down to four hit points. Now's the time to use the spell. He can't do it himself, though. How many dots? 59. So that's not the problem. Uh, aim, manual. Don't think we want to start shooting in this guy. He's got too many hit points and his AC is stronger than the regular guys. No friendly fire in this game, I'm happy to say, so no chance of me shooting a dart into the back of Asimoto. Hmm. Would like to throw my healing anytime. Well, I feel like Falgoff haven't had his turn in quite a while, but there it is. Okay, uh, you need to unready the flail, ready the ready the shield, ready the scroll, use the scroll, cast the cure, manual and top. <coughs> partially healed. Hopefully you are close to 10. Not at all. I only got one HP from that spell. <coughs> That's ridiculous. I need to throw another spell at him. And that is the last one. Hmm. So, one hit point heal, one hit point damaged. Ridiculous. Don't know how I can do 
one hit point damage with a two-handed freaking sword. But okay, uh, use the spell. Cast. Manual. Partially healed. Well, I wouldn't have expected him to get fully healed, but I would like to have at least five more hit points when we get to his turn. Next kill we make, it's likely that the leader will step in. Well, I guess it depends on what point in the turn we kill. Okay, so you need to re-equip your shield and your flail. And have a go with him. Yeah, that's fine. Aim, manual. Six hit points. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I got one and two hit points of, out of that scroll. I am so salty. Move you in there. We're going to need to get a lot more lucky if we're going to make it. Come on, kill that guy for freak sex. That's not enough. That's very bad. So now they're in range of the magic user, which is really not good. Yeah. Asimoto going down was probably the straw that broke the camel's back. Let's see how we can come back from this. Mm. Guess we'll bandage. Just in case. Now you kill him. And down goes Bark. And that was unavoidable. they can get a lot more guys in there now. We're gonna need to bandage you and then I guess we'll see. They can hit me with six guys simultaneously and I have like two hit points left? I think so. If flanking is a thing they can also do that now. Anyone here hurt? No. That guy's hurt. I think I want to get these people up here so the leader can come down. If I can kill the leader, I don't know. No. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. That's a total party kill. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. Probably we lost bunch of progress there because I didn't say really ought to, uh, to remember saving in time we do anything good because yeah it's it's hard this game is hard at least when you play with them um, uh, unmodified stats like we're doing anyways I'll see you all next time we will uh, reload the game and uh, hope to do better bye for now